Ancient Adderall, a behavioral transplant, and superior smell. This is five science stories for you in three minutes or less. No time to waste, let's get started. Scientists have transplanted the mating ritual from one fly species to a completely different one. Genetic modifications are common by now, but transferring a behavior between species using genetics is wild. D. melanogaster sings in its mating ritual, and D. sub obscura uses gift giving. By switching on a particular gene, scientists were able to reliably make D. melanogaster try to give gifts. Activating certain genes changed the wiring of the fly's brains, and they did the behavior on their own, without any learning or social exposure. Obviously, many behaviors are learned, but some of them seem to be hardwired into our DNA. Losing your sense of smell became a real threat in most people's minds since the COVID pandemic, but it affects plenty of people, especially with age. Fortunately, a new radiotherapy may help restore olfactory function. The treatment tested firing radio waves directly at the olfactory bulb to stimulate the nerves. Early results showed that the painless treatment helps significantly improve sensation for up to a week. The treatment works at about the same frequency as Wi-Fi, and contrasting current therapies may work as a cure by restoring function to olfactory nerves. Chewing betel nuts is an ancient cultural practice in southeastern Asia. The reddish nuts act as a stimulant, raising energy and alertness while feeling relaxing. People have been using this ancient Adderall for about 9,000 years, and archaeologists can tell betel nut users by their red stained teeth. A recent study found remains from about 4,000 years ago that didn't have any staining, but they were able to find traces of betel nut compounds by sampling their plaque. This might indicate that the culture at the time had teeth cleaning practices, or they could be consuming the betel nuts in a different way that we're not familiar with. The study also offers a method that could be used for empirically detecting chemicals of other psychoactive compounds in ancient human remains. Kelp forests are an often overlooked victim of habitat loss, but we have a tool that could help them out. Kelp forests are productive, vital ecosystems that are home to troves of wildlife, including otters, urchins, and crabs. Marine protected areas, or MPAs, are areas of the ocean where fishing and other disruptive activities are restricted. Researchers at UCLA reviewed over 40 years of satellite images to compare kelp forests that are in MPAs to those not in MPAs. Especially after marine heat waves in 2014 through 16, MPAs helped mitigate certain stressors so kelp forests could recover more quickly. It's not a silver bullet, but this is a tool that we already have, and this research gives us a good reason to start using it more. And finally, a new moon was discovered orbiting Uranus. The James Webb Space Telescope uncovered a tiny six-mile-wide moon orbiting Uranus, located at the edge of its inner rings. The object joins Uranus's 28 other moons, most of which are named for Shakespeare characters. As such, the principal researcher says our team is getting a lot of culture, trying to figure out what to name our new discovery. That's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.